Hello and welcome. In today's episode of Dr. Noor, I check out the latest technology of in-home microcurrent facials by taking a look at this Foreo Bear device. As a cosmetic doctor, I often get asked, hey Dr. Nora, what can I do to keep my skin looking healthy, fresh, youthful and radiant? What is there out there? And I often say to them, aside from the usual information, such as having a good, healthy, balanced lifestyle, lots of exercise, drinking plenty of water and drinking in moderation, and of course, stopping smoking. Apart from that, also wearing a good moisturizer and slopping on that sunscreen, especially if you're outside in the sun. So you can imagine I was pretty excited to hear that there was some new technology out there that uses microcurrent through your skin to keep your muscles nice and firm and your skin looking plump. First up, how does it actually work? Well, the bare device releases T-sonic pulsations. Now, T-sonic actually stands for transdermal, which means through the skin. Sonic pulsations, which are pulsations of electrical impulses through the skin, through these two electrodes at the top. And what happens is whilst you glide it through your skin, it actually releases 100 pulses per second, which is pretty, pretty fast. And each pulse is 0.3 seconds in duration. So you can imagine really quick impulses through the skin as you're gliding it through. It supposedly helps to release ATP, which is an energy that is released from cells. Now, once ATP is released from cells, it actually helps to decrease fluid and increase blood and circulation in the area that is being treated. And the net result of this is to helping to increase the amount of elastin and collagen. Now, whilst the use of microcurrent stimulation hasn't yet been studied in humans, we have seen it studied in mice, and certainly there is a degree of ATP production. So who can actually use this? Well, there are a lot of celebrity endorsements out there. And if you just type into Google Foreo celebrity, you're going to come up with a heap of them and lots of people love it. But there are some people out there who cannot simply use this. And this is found within the product manual, which I have to say is fairly on the small side. So you might need a magnifying glass, but to summarize it for you, it should not be used in people who have got implantable devices anywhere else in their body. It should not be used in people who are pregnant because we haven't studied the effect of this in pregnancy. It certainly shouldn't be used in patients who have got cancers or other blood disorders, and it shouldn't be used over any moles or any skin cancer lesions as well. But make sure to fully read the instruction manual before embarking on this and to make sure that it is suitable for yourself. To use a device effectively, Foreo do recommend that you use their products. Now, I quite like these products and I'll tell you why in very shortly. There is a micro foam cleanser, which essentially is used to clean the skin before you apply the serum, which is prior to the actual device itself. Now, with regards to the micro foam cleanser, why do I like it? Well, if you look at the back on the ingredients, it's packed with vitamin E. Vitamin E is a fantastic antioxidant for our skin. It supposedly helps to reduce the amount of UV damage that our skin has when we're outside in the sun, for example. So naturally, this may help with anti-aging. So anything that contains vitamin E is a big plus for me. Once you cleanse your face, you're then asked to place on the serum, 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 which is said for three times to really emphasize the fact that you're gonna be using the serum. And the idea of the serum is to help your skin look more rejuvenated. And so when you are using the device, it just simply glides over. But again, if we look at the back of the box, we can see the ingredients. Now, I particularly like these two ingredients that are in here. The first one is hyaluronic acid. Now, we naturally have hyaluronic acid within our skin and that helps keep our skin looking nice and plump, voluminous, and it hydrates us. And so we know that hyaluronic acid can be made as a man-made product for example, that we inject into our lips, but also as a skincare product as well. So that is also a big plus for me. The second thing that I quite like in here is the fact that it has got squalane in it. Squalene is a fat or a lipid that is found naturally in our skin. Now, unfortunately, as we get older, say over the age of 30, where everything starts going downhill, the amount of natural squalene that we have in our body starts to decrease. Squalene is responsible for keeping our skin looking hydrated and it actually helps as an antioxidant to decrease the aging process. But for squalene to be incorporated into cosmeceuticals, for example, like this cream, it needs to be hydrogenated. And so it is therefore called squalane. So if you ever do see any products that contain squalane in it, that is where it comes from. So the fact that the combination of these two products has vitamin E, hyaluronic acid and squalane, it's a pretty good starter for your skin. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, whether or not you've tried one of these before and if they work. And of course, I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below. But for now, take care and stay healthy.